What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Starfield build guide. Today, we're going to be recreating the US CSS Nostromo from the Alien franchise. Before we jump in, I want to thank you guys for your support. I mean, just look at this. Look at these numbers. Anyway, before I get ahead of myself, let's jump on over to the ship builder. All right, we are here in the ship builder with the Nostromo. I'll go ahead and spin her around a couple times while I break down the stats. This ship, exactly as I have it, is going to cost you around 250,000 credits. It's going to require piloting rank 3, as it is a class B ship, and you'll also need starship design rank 4. It's got a mass of 1,081, a top speed of 140, a mobility of 100, a jump range of 30 light years, a max crew of 5, 730 cargo, a shield of 930, a hull of 1,107, and a ballistic damage of 45. All right, we're going to get the ship blown up here, and we'll start with the build guide. All right, we've got the Nostromo blown up here into a few different segments. We'll go ahead and start with, as usual, the most important part, habitation. We'll go ahead and start from the landing bay here at the bottom. We've got a Shipbed 200 landing bay facing the front. On either side, we've got a Caravel V101 cargo hold. Behind that, we've got a Stroud 1x1. We've got a 100 DP Slim Docker bottom right at the bottom of that 1x1. Behind that, we've got a Z Machine 4000 reactor. On top of those, we've got a Stroud Infirmary 2x1. In front of that is a Stroud Computer Core 2x1. On the end here is a Viking CP220 cockpit. For the guns on the nose, we've got two Dangan PB cannons, one on either side. And on top, we've got another Dangan PB cannon on top of an equipment plate. And then here, just above the front of the Shipbed 200 landing bay, we've got two Deimos bumpers, port four, one on either side, giving it some little ears here. Now we'll move all the way to the back. We've got a Dunn 11 engine. And mounted onto the bottom is an RD3000 beta grav drive. And that'll do it for habitation. So for the spine, the foundation is going to be two Hope Tech Cat Bs. On top of those, we've got two Deimos Hull A's back to back. On the front, we've got a Stroud braking engine. And on the back, we've got an Amon 1 engine. And on top of the frontmost Hull A, we've got a Warden SG300 shield generator. And that's going to do it for your spine. We'll go ahead and double click that. Move it on back. And that should snap on right at the back of your habitation. Now we'll move on to the nacelles. We'll go ahead and start with the right side. We've got a Stroud Workshop 2x1. On front of that is a Deimos Hull A. And on front of that is a Stroud Braking Engine. And right in the center snap point, we've got a Horizon Weapon Mount. We'll move up one level. We've got a Stroud Cowling 3LAPT capping off the entire top. Attached to the front is a Deimos Braking Engine. On the bottoms, we've got one Hope 5 Landing Gear on the front. One Hope 5 Landing Gear on the back and a massive Nova 1050 engine on the back. On the other side, attached to the back snap point of the Stroud Workshop is a Stroud Companionway 1x1. On front of that is a Stroud Cap A Port 4 top, and that's going to be flipped facing this direction. On the back, we've got a 400G AG3 tank. And on the bottom, we've got one more Hope 5 landing gear. And that completes your right side nacelle. We'll go ahead and double click that. Slide it over. And that's going to attach right behind this Deimos bumper here on the right side. We're going to move on to the other nacelle. The left side is going to be exactly the same, just mirrored over. We'll start again with the habitation module here. We've got a Stroud Science Lab 2x1. And right in the center snap point, we've got a Horizon Weapon Mount. And attached to the front end, we've got a Deimos Hull A. And on the front end of the Deimos Hull A, we've got a Stroud Braking Engine. Now capping off the top, we've got a Stroud Cowling 3LAST. On the front of that, we've got a Deimos Braking Engine. Capping off the back, we've got a Nova 1050 Engine. And attached to this back snap point, we've got another 1x1. On front of that is a Stroud Cap A starboard 4 top. And that's going to be rotated facing this direction. And on the back of it, we've got a 400G AG3 tank. And along the bottom, we've got three Hope 5 landing gears. You're going to have one on the back under the Nova engine, one on the front under the braking engine, and one underneath the companionway. That's going to complete your left side nacelle. We'll go ahead and double click. Bring it on over. And just as before, you'll snap it on behind your Deimos bumper starboard 4. And now the last part's missing. We've got two Stroud Cowling 1LAPTs. We'll double click those. Bring those forward. And you'll put those on top of your 1x1 one one on the right side. For the left side, we've got two Stroud Cowling 1LASTs. We'll go ahead and double click those. And those will cover up your 1x1 one one on the other side. And there you go. Your Nostromo is complete. I hope the guide was easy enough to follow along. Go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know how you feel. And if you're feeling generous, drop a like and a sub on the way down. And now we're going to go ahead and cut some gameplay footage. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.
Reapers or hiding spots. They know this shit better than we do. You have my attention. I'll be here when you need. 